optimization problem. Example, a farmer has 2,400 feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a straight river. He needs no fence along the river. What are the dimensions of the field that has the largest area? Very good. So let us begin. So what's the visualization look like? Here you have the following information. 2,400 of fencing. What's the meaning of that? It means that, well, since you are building a rectangular fence and it's along the river, and the river doesn't need any border. This is your river, yeah, just moving. And it's a straight river, so our goal is to maximize the area here. Well, okay, so let us begin. Suppose this side is X, and since you have a rectangular border, X and X are the same. And suppose this side is just Y. So what's the meaning of that? It means that X plus Y plus X is 2,400 feet. X plus Y plus X is 2,400, or 2X plus Y is 2,400. So far, we have this piece of information. Let us just make sure we know the information, the relation between Y and X written linearly this way linear relation. And at the same time, we want to find the dimensions of the field that has the largest area. So the goal is to maximize the area. But what is the area of a rectangular object in this scenario? Area is equal to, well, x times y or if you want to write it as a function of x or a function of y, it doesn't matter which one you're using. You have to find a relation between x and y and substitute that here. Now, we need to write the area in terms of one variable. This is the thing that you need to make sure that you're focusing on. Well, one variable, you have a linear relation between x and y, so let us use it. You know that 2x plus y is 2,400, or y is 2,400 minus 2x. So now substitute that in the area formula. So area as a function of x can be written as x, times y, but y is two or double zeros minus two x. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to maximize this function or we're trying to use the derivative to find a critical point and find the x value that gives us the maximum function, maximum of this function. Now use derivatives, to find the maximum value. Okay, so let's do that. Remember that this is my function. I can write it as 2400 x minus 2x squared to find critical points. We need to take the derivative of this function and set it equal to zero. But the derivative of this function is 2400 minus 4x. Set the derivative equal to zero. So 2400 minus 4x is equal to zero. It means that 2400 is equal to 4x, or if you divide both sides by four, x becomes 600. Well, well, x is 600. And then we can easily find the y value as well, All right? So since y is 2400 minus 2x, y becomes 2400 minus 2 times 600, or 2400 minus 
1200, which is 1200. Just a quick note here for you. Note that our x is strictly bounded between two values. Why is that? Because we are working with dimensions, am I right? So when you're working with dimensions, your x cannot be a negative number, for example. So let's take a look at the scenario that you're dealing with here. Between zero and 1200. So it means that we have some values that x is restricted to. If x is equal to zero, then y becomes 2400 minus two times zero or 2400. And if x is 1200, then y becomes 2400 minus two times 1200, which is zero. So note that in either case, the area becomes zero. So it means that, well, here we cannot use the lower limit and upper limit for x because it gives us area zero. The best value is x equals to 600 and y is 1200. It gives us the maximum area.